We've all seen the amazing demos of AR at Apple's keynote events, but AR seems to be always demonstrated on an iPad. And yet, the iPhone 12 Pro is rumored to be getting the LiDAR sensor that was launched with Apple's iPad Pros earlier this year. We've also heard rumors that LiDAR will be a key component of the Apple Glass system, Apple's wearable eyewear. But I have a feeling that iPhone 12 Pro is gonna be using LiDAR in a completely different way, and it's gonna absolutely supercharge video. I'm David from Living on iPad and I simplify Apple so everything just works for you. If you want the latest Apple news, leaks and rumours, as well as how to do more with the equipment that you already have, like this video, subscribe and ring the bell because you don't want to miss a thing. It looks pretty sure that iPhone 12 Pro will be inheriting the iPad Pro's LiDAR sensor or at least a very similar sensor. And so far everyone has been talking about it being used for augmented reality or AR. LiDAR itself is exactly what it sounds like. It's a light version of radar. So it's bouncing invisible light off of its environment, measuring the amount of time it takes to come back and using that to calculate the distances between different objects and the camera lens. If you think about Daredevil's echolocation from the Marvel series, it's essentially that, but at the speed of light. And if you're not familiar with augmented reality, it's essentially overlaying digital elements over the real world as seen through your iPhone or your iPad's camera. We've seen multiple mind-blowing demos at Apple's keynote events, including gaming, Ikea, placing furniture within a room, but I don't know anyone that uses AR on a daily basis at the moment. If you do, let me know down in the comments what you use it for. The only thing it might be used for? Pokemon Go. Do you remember that? Remember when everyone was playing Pokemon Go? But I don't think there's that many people running around the streets with iPad Pros using that LiDAR sensor to get, make sure those Pokemon look absolutely real where they're sitting on the street. So beyond AR, I think that the LiDAR sensor could be used to absolutely supercharge video on iPhone and iPad. By projecting that field of invisible dots and measuring how far away each item in the scene is and the focus of your scene, you could completely eliminate the focus hunting that happens on occasion. If you've ever tried to film something that's stationary, have you ever seen the, the focus popping in and out? That is focus hunting, and that is your iPhone trying to work out exactly what you're focusing on in the scene and how far away it is. Now, using a combination of LiDAR and your phone's cameras, the LiDAR will tell the phone exactly how far away you are, and the phone will automatically be able to focus on that distance. It won't be trying to work it out from the contrast in the scene and from the movement of different items in the scene. Not just that, but because the iPhone will know exactly how far away everything in the scene is, it could bring portrait photography into video. So Apple's incredible uh, portrait mode photography that gives that beautiful soft background bokeh to a lot of the images that are taken on iPhones, both on the selfie camera and also on the rear facing cameras, would be able to blur out the background of videos with everything moving around because it will know exactly where everything is in perspective within the scene. That will take Apple's computational photography to the next level. So imagine a video camera that focuses instantly, never hunts for the target, and also can blur out the background to your heart's content. You can choose after the fact how blurry or how focused you want that background to be because Apple's using its computational photography to basically simulate the depth of focus in the lens, not using actual depth of focus. However, iPhones also have multiple cameras and the iPhone 12 Pro is rumored to have three cameras as well as the LiDAR sensor on the back. So imagine Apple using all three of those cameras to collect different data at different focal lengths in the same way that it does HDR photography with different exposure levels. Apple can then combine those after the fact to get even more data into the camera. And then imagine moving it over to an Apple Silicon Mac with a neural engine that can post focus your work. There have been cameras that can do post-production focus in the past. It's not a completely new concept, but this would be a brand new way of achieving it. That would also give Apple a brilliant differentiator, not only for the iPhone 12 from the 12 Pro, but also for Apple Silicon Macs from the old Intel counterparts. If the Intel Macs don't have that neural engine, then Final Cut Pro might not be able to process the images in the same way. So Apple Silicon gets a huge step up over its Intel-based rivals. 
Is that something that would be possible on Apple Silicon, but not on Intel? I don't know, but it sounds like a very, very Apple thing to do. So I hope this video has really ramped up your excitement for the iPhone 12 Pro. I was really on the fence. I was thinking I can get away with getting the iPhone 12. They're really good. The, sel the selfie camera is great. Um, that's one of the biggest advantages for me as someone that makes videos because then when I'm out and about I can make videos and I can see what I'm filming at the same time uh, because they got a huge upgrade last year but now I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna need to go pro again and it's gonna cost me more money but Apple take my money if you're gonna do this take my money I mean always the camera upgrades are a huge reason to upgrade your phone but what phone is on your wish list for this side of Christmas this year. Are you looking for an iPhone 12, an iPhone 12 Pro? You got your eye on the SE. Are you hanging on to the phone you've got now? Is it an iPhone or an Android? Why do you want to keep it? What makes it better than this new magical iPhone 12 Pro that I've just been telling you all about? Let me know down in the comments. And if you didn't remember to subscribe earlier, now would be a great time and it'll make me so happy. I will literally jump around. Go on, press it, press subscribe. Go on.